What's your name? Johnny. Johnny? Alright, I'm so Elijah. Alright, you know who you are according to the Bible? All right, look, where's that sign at? Look at that right here. Look at this sign right here. What would you be on that sign? The first one? So you'd be, you be for a so-called African American. But see, read, read uh, verse 37 again. It's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 37. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh -huh. A proverb. Uh -huh. And a byword. A byword. So when the white man, the other nations, they call you African American. But God calls you Judah. That's right. You're from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. right. All right. You know who else was from the tribe of Judah? Christ. Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Let's get that. Let's prove that. Let's prove that. Hebrews uh, 7, 14. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It said what? For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord sprang out of Judah. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. All uh, praise. What's, uh, what's your name, sis? Sharon. Let me get brother. I'm sorry. John, Johnny and Sharon. Johnny and Sharon. Johnny Sharon. All praise. You know who you are according to the Bible, sis? Look on that sign. Where would you where would where would you be at on that sign? At the top. So you would be so called African American. So according to the Bible, you would be from the tribe of Judah. We just read that the most the Messiah, the our Savior, is also from the tribe of Judah. You you from a from a mighty tribe. Same tribe that Christ is from. Alright? All praise. Let's get uh let's go to back to twenty. Let's go to verse fifteen again. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse fifteen. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is Moses. Moses is talking to the show, so uh, is talking to the uh, the Israelites in the wilderness. You know about you ever watch uh, um, uh, uh, the ten the ten uh, commandments? Ten yeah, ten commandments. Yeah, ten commandments. You ever watch that? All right. Or you ever seen uh, Prince of Egypt? That that movie? Okay. When uh, those that's what it's talking about. The so-called, he brought the Hebrews out of Israel. Yep. Right? Moses was talking to the Israelites. Right? Let's read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. So Moses was telling the Israelites, if you don't listen, if you don't listen, these so-called curses, these uh, curses are going to come upon you. It's going to show you that in a minute. But he was telling them, you have to, you have to keep the commandments. Right? There, was, there were commandments that we, we as a people have to keep in order to get to the kingdom. All right, read on. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these what? Curses, uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and ever overtake thee. When you we read about uh, the coronavirus, that was, that came from God. Uh, that came from God because we didn't keep His commandments. When you see our brothers and sisters getting shot down in the streets, when you see that happening, that that is a curse put on our people because we refuse to keep his commandments. Let's go to verse 32. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What people did that happen to? What people on the earth did that happen to? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Look on this sign. That's happening to our people. That's happening to our people. That's happening to our uh, brothers and sisters right now. The the so uh, the so called uh, is Mexicans. The is that we is calling that sign. It's happening to them right now. Those are those are your brothers, brothers and sisters as well, because they went through the same atrocities that we did. Those are our brothers and sisters. When you read on this sign, we only have it to our people. These are the curses that Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen is talking about. When you don't keep his commandments, this will happen to your people. When you read it, when you go, when you read up in uh, about Libya, brothers and sisters getting sold for four hundred dollars in Libya. It's still happening. To, that's ha still happening today to our people. Let's go to verse uh, forty-five. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-five. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee. And overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Till thou be destroyed. These curses would come upon us. It would come after us until we destroyed mentally. We've been destroyed mentally as a people. Read on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't listen to Lord. We didn't listen to the Lord thy God. We didn't want to keep the Sabbath day. We didn't want to uh, re re keep reading. To keep His commandments uh -huh. and His statutes, uh -huh. which He commanded thee. Read. 
and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. For a sign and for a wonder. How do I know that's BP gas station? By the sign. So, our people getting shot down in the streets. Coronavirus. Coronavirus is hitting our people harder than the other nations. You got, uh, our, we're getting first fire, last hired. You know, you don't get your full check. If you look, you look at your paycheck stub. Do you get your full check? You don't get your full check. They up all the taxes they took take out of your check. That's a curse. Read on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Keep on. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. These curses would be upon us forever. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart. Because we didn't want to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. We didn't want to do it with joyfulness. We do, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to keep the Sabbath day. It's a great thing for our brothers and sisters to uh, get married. Teach up, this, teach thing, up. This, this Marriage is honorable according to the Bible. Bring it out. Marriage is an honorable thing. But America has painted marriage as something wrong. Especially with our people. Marriage is an honorable thing. There's nothing wrong with getting married and get, being with one person. Read, let's go to verse 48. Verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Who's up. our enemy today? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Read. Not just not just not, not just them. The other nations as well. The other nations as well. Keep on. What's the Lord shall send against thee? Read. In hunger. In hunger. If you want to get if you want food, who do you gotta go to? You gotta go to the grocery store. Who owns the grocery stores? That ain't owned by us. It ain't owned by us. Now you got some. There's some grocery stores where our people we we own it. But where do you where do we get the product from? Where do we have to get the products from? <laughs> because we don't own the farms. We don't own that stuff. Read on. And in thirst. And in thirst. We don't own Dasani, Coca Cola, uh, uh, Pepsi. Uh, what's the other? Another what? Aquafina. All these things. We don't own none of that. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. If you want clothes, you know, now you got uh, Beyonce and uh, P. Diddy, Sean John, you know, they got the names on the on the clothing, but they don't they don't own the textile mills that put the clothing together. We don't own these things. Read on. And in what of all things? You want a birth certificate. You want to learn about the Bible. You want to learn about, you want to get your uh, driver's license. Any of that things, you have to go to your enemy to get those things. Because we refuse to keep God's commandments. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Where's that at? Let me get that. Right here, right here. See? Yoke of iron upon thy neck. You see that right there? He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Finish that. Read on. Until he hath destroyed thee. Until he hath destroyed thee. Until he destroyed us mentally. You never, uh, you, uh, we can put that down. Awesome. All praises. You ever, um, you ever see those, we, we have a dog. You ever, you ever had a dog before? Okay. Now you tie that dog to it on a chain, right? And, but you want, you don't want that dog to go, go a certain, certain way. You only want him to go a certain, a certain way. You don't want him to go all the way past the fence or anything. You, you see what I'm saying? They, you have, you have a certain length that they want to go to. After a while, They'll get used to that. They'll, they'll remember that. It's the same with our people. We've had those chains on our necks for so long. We, we have forgotten who we are as a people. We've forgotten our heritage. We've forgotten that we are the people of this book. This is our book. That's right. right. We are the children of Israel. That's right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see what I'm saying? Let's go to verse uh, 64. It's the book 60, of Deuteronomy. 68. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 68, uh -huh. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Who that happened to? See it on the sign. Look down on the bottom of that sign right there. Those are slave ships. Now let's start it again. Read from the uh, read from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Now it said Egypt. Now, it's not talking about actual Egypt. Let's get what Egypt means. Give me that in Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Read. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage. Egypt is synonymous for bondage, for slavery. Right. 
So it's not talking about actual Egypt, it's talking about slavery. Because we weren't, we were in slavery for 400 years in Egypt. So when it's talking, let's read it again. I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, out of bondage, read. Out of the house of bondage. Read on. Keep going. Verse 68. Keep going. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. Keep going. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Read. Thou shall see it no more again. Thou shall see it no more again. It's talking about our motherland. It's talking about it's talking about Jer uh, uh, Jerusalem. That's our mo motherland. That's where we come from. Right. Read on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Ye shall be sold on your to, to your enemies. We were sold on slave auction blocks. We were sold to the other nations. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. And no man shall buy you. When it says no man shall buy you, it's talking about Martin Luther King couldn't save us. Marcus Garvey couldn't save us. Uh, 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 Nat Turner couldn't save us. None of the, we don't, now don't get me wrong, these were great men. They, 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 they wanted to help their people. But the only one that can save us out of this, out of this hell hole is, this, is, is the Messiah, the black Messiah Christ. That's right. He's the only one that can save us. But we have to keep his commandments. Let's get some commandments. Let's get uh, Deuteronomy 20, 22. This is for you, sis. I, mean, I, mean, I want to read this real quick because this is for you. Bring it out. Verse the, 5. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Keep going. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Uh -huh. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So, what do men wear that only women are supposed to wear today? What do, what do when, when it, read, read that part again about the men. For a, wait, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So let me ask you a question. If I was standing up here in a dress, would you take me serious? Would you take me serious? Let's be, be honest. You, you ain't going to take me serious I'm standing up here. I'm trying to teach the Bible, but I'm standing up here in a dress. Bring it you up, see man. what I'm saying? Now let's read the top again. Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what do women wear that pertain to men? Pants. Pants. So you you as a sister, you have to you have to wear a dress according to the Bible. Let's read it again. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. The same man with men. Men shouldn't be putting on dresses. That's right. Read on. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. That's an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God hates that thing. God, God, don't want to see, God wants to see you in a dress. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth